Welcome to Old Person Minecraft videos. Today I'm going to do kind of like a part two video of my first video on bees. It was on how to stop de bees from disappearing. Like my first video where I have the, the campfires underneath, I harvest using these. Because each hive or nest can hold three bees, it makes it almost impossible to count because they're constantly going in and out. Okay. So the way I find out if I need to be breeding them is that, you know, when you remove honey or honeycomb from the hive or nest, the little hole there will go blank and it'll stop dripping honey. See how it starts to disappear. Then I'll wait for about a day or two to see how fast it takes for them to fill back up. If they don't fill back up in about a day or two, with you being in the vicinity, I'll come back here. I can come back here in about a day or two to see if all the, uh, the, the beehives have filled up. If they have, then I'll know that I don't need to keep breeding that I have enough. This is my son's Metro, uh, metropolitan area and I live over in Monville. <laughs> yeah, he's doing all kinds of fancy things. Okay, where are the bees? The bees are over here. And there's his horse. Doesn't look like he's done anything recently. Uh, okay. So the bees are in here, you can hear them. Okay, this is what he did. Look at this. He has told me he has not bred them. He bred them enough to make it so that there were three in each of the beehives. And I have counted at some points, I think there are Okay, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he said he bred them until there was 24. You know, three times, wait. Not 24. Eight times three. Oh yeah, yeah, 24 on each side. Now, I don't know if there are still 24 on each side, but as you can see in the picture, I counted a total on one side here. I, I counted about 17 bees. He built this a long time ago. And it is still going strong. That just shows you how long this has been operating. And he has not had to rebreed them at all. I get nine honeycomb. The trick is that you limit their space. And so do you see they only have this... Uh, passage space. They can only fly back and forth right in front of the hive. And I think that when they're confined like this, you know, I said in my other video, try to keep the, the hives open so they can access it from all directions. Well, I think that that's important if it's in an open air situation. But when you are in an enclosed area, in this case, they, they completely, uh, okay, here you go. You can see them really starting to pop out. Do you see that? we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten. I think there might be twelve. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. It might have whittled down a little bit. Maybe there's just two bees per hive, but good lord. I can't even remember how long ago. This was months ago that he built this, and he has not bred them anymore. So basically what you have here, as you can see, is he puts a row of uh, glass blocks all the way down so you can see the bees. So it can let some light in so it's not all dark. He has lights up here, and of course then he also has the lanterns for light. But it's not open. It's not a... They apparently don't need the sun. And so the, the earth blocks... In front, Underneath each um, hive here, it has a flower. And then he puts a slab on top of each one. And he just repeats this, eight down and then eight on this side. Um, so then he has a hopper. It's 
Like a double hopper. Oh! Oh my god. I don't know. Oh, sh crap. I don't want to push that because I don't know what it would do. I'm going to say, I'm going to guess that those are observers uh, looking down into the beehive so that when it's full and somehow the redstone monitors all that. Anyone here who knows more about uh, redstone stuff can probably figure out how the redstone is working with the uh, observer. I mean, it has to be an observer, but I don't want to break it apart. Even if you don't want to do the redstone and you want to do mass production of uh, set up a bee factory, this is the way to do it. I mean, like I said, look at that. It's been months since he built this and many, 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 many Minecraft days. There, there is hope for people that want to do factory bee farming, right? That you have to severely restrict their movement and just give them these, you know, little glass uh, tunnels, a single block wide and everything. Oh, crap. Sorry. I thought that the bridge was complete. I almost fell for it. I'll just go this way. But, okay, so just to double check for people who don't want to do massive bee production but are trying to figure out how to make their bee populations more sustainable. When I say sustainable, it doesn't mean literally the bees don't disappear at all. Their numbers will still diminish over time if you have them in an open air setting. But my son seems to have inadvertently, without even trying, he didn't realize that there was a bee problem. He didn't set out to figure it out. He just wanted to put them in as small space as possible. And he seems to have figured out this, the solution. So, so it's been, I think, two days here. And remember, I, I collected the, I harvested the honeycomb. So let me come back here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it takes a little bit more. I think it takes about, like I said, about three days for the honey to fill back up. Yeah, because you see how they are. Oh, look. Okay, that one just popped up. Might also be because, remember I was talking about if you're a certain number of blocks away, um, the mobs kind of freeze up. Okay, that's what happened. I was far enough away. Okay, that one. Okay, the middle one still has not filled up. But I saw a bee come out of it. What that tells me is that I have enough bees and I don't need to breed them, okay? But I have reduced the risk by eliminating the cactus, large open bodies of water and open fire. So you wanna protect all that. Anyway, so that is the solution to your, uh, if you want to have a bee factory where the bees do not desp despawn, do not disappear, then you're gonna to have to do what my son did uh, to make that enclosure, but only giving them just a, a narrow, uh, one block wide area to fly in. And that's it. And that's the end of this video. So I hope you learned something. Uh, leave your comments below. If you try out, especially my sons, uh, let me know if that succeeds with you. Um, anyway, it's nice to uh, have a way to kind of keep it so the bees are not constantly disappearing. If you like this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.